Hi guys, it's Matty, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Star Team to Nitro 4D. So, you want to click the link in the description to go to nitro4d.com. So, scroll down and just download it. It's got instructions how to install it there. So, once you've downloaded it, you want to head up into Nitro 4D. You want to create a floor. Make that a bit wider. Alright, so now you go to Mograph, Text Object, and then you can select your font and that good stuff. You can type whatever your text you want in. Alright, so I'm going to just type in tutorial and put the depth to about 50. Alright, cool. If you see there's like lines down the side, there's two lines. That's where the camera will be, so if you want to make that bigger, you want to go over here, go on output, click on this little arrow, go to screen, and go to, uh, you'll, you'll want to go to 1280 by 1024 and change the height from 1024 to 720 and change the resolution to 200 uh, that, that's making them a bit bigger for you. okay see so if, if you want two colors like an outline of the text you want to select the text and press ctrl c ctrl v to make a copy and then on the text object one you'll want to go to caps and then change the start cap to filler cap and the end cap to filler cap and you'll want to make both their radiuses 6 meters. Alright, and then you'll want to use this button and go to the side view. And you'll want to just pull it back a little bit, like that. So you can see that there's two layers there. Alright, so you can add some color now. So you want to go and file, new material, double click the new material. And I'm going to have black and green, so I'll make black first. I want to put some reflection on it, so you want to check reflection, put the brightness to about 20%, and go in texture here, and go in fluorescent Fresnel, and then put that to about 20% too. And you want to uncheck specular, and put that on the back layer, such as. Alright, now, file new material. And this time I'm going to make green. So you make sure your colour is checked. And just make your colour. Again, reflection, 20%. And Fresnel, 20%. And uncheck specular. Alright. So now, do you render that? Alright, cool. Text. Alright, I think I'm going to put some colour to the floor as well. To make that a nice grey. Alright, just drag that on the floor. Alright, cool. So now you want to press Control and select both the text objects. Go to Plugins. Go to Throughty. Click on Throughty. Alright, you want to change the pieces to 20. And yeah, then just click Break now. And that'll take a little while. Alright, so it's halfway through. You can see that it's just breaking the text into smaller and smaller pieces. If you're doing like a bigger piece of work, like an intro or something, I would suggest saving it before you do throwsy because sometimes it does crash.
So if you put like 100 pieces in it, it would just crash straight away, unless you have a fast computer. Alright, there you go, so broke them all up. So you want to cross off that. And if you want to do like a delayed, exp like if you press play now, it should all just explode like that. But if you want, if you want to stop them from like falling through the floor, you want to highlight floor, right click it, MoGraph tags, and rigid body. So now, when it explodes, it stays on the floor. But you see that the slide loading is pretty unrealistic. So now you want to highlight all the rigid body tags of the um, text and go on collision and change the friction to about 0 0.1 and the bounce to about yeah just leave the bounce as that alright so now if you play it should be a bit more realistic alright cool and you can change the colours see that the grey inside you can change them down here so you can just change them to cool random colours And now if you see if you if you break it now that you'll see that you have those colours and a few of them. We should do. <laughs> Alright, so if you want to have a delayed explosion, so say I want it to make it explode at twenty frames, I want to go back to zero, I want to put on auto keyframe, highlight all the M rigid body tags of the text again, go to dynamics and uncheck enabled, move to where I wanted to start, say I'm going to start at 20 frames, and check it again, and then uncheck or keyframe, and then if I go back to the beginning and play it, then play an explosion. Alright, I hope this helped you, thanks for watching, if you have any problems just comment them and I'll get back to you as quick as I can, alright.